If you suspect that a victim has a possible spinal injury, do not tilt the head back to open the airway. Instead, perform the jaw thrust technique without tilting the head. Place your hands on each side of the victim's head. Grasp the jaw below the earlobe with your fingers. Place your thumbs along the cheekbones. Lift the jaw while keeping the head still. When you approach a motionless person, attempt to find out whether the victim is responsive. Tap and shout. Grandpa, are you okay? If the person responds, they are said to be responsive. If the person does not respond, they are said to be unresponsive. Hey, go call 911. Have a bystander call the local emergency telephone number, usually 911, immediately. This will ensure that professional medical care is not delayed. With the victim on a firm, flat surface, open the airway. Place one hand on the forehead and the fingers of the other hand just under the chin. Tilt the head back and lift the chin. In an unresponsive victim, the tongue may be blocking the airway. The act of opening the airway may be all that is needed to help the victim to start breathing. Next, check to see if the victim is breathing. Look for the chest to rise and fall. Listen and feel for signs of normal breathing for up to 10 seconds. If the victim is not breathing, you will need to breathe for him. This is known as rescue breathing. Check circulation for up to 10 seconds. Look for any signs of normal breathing, coughing, movement, or improved level of responsiveness. If the victim is not breathing, but has other signs of circulation, begin rescue breathing. If there are no signs of circulation, you will need to begin CPR. This skill is covered in detail in a later section of this video. If the victim is breathing, roll him onto his side in the recovery position. If the victim suddenly vomits, this position will help keep the airway clear. When you approach a motionless child, attempt to find out whether the child is responsive. Okay? Tap okay? and shout. If the child does not respond, they are said to be unresponsive. This condition requires immediate medical help. Go call 911. If a bystander is available, have her call 911. If you are alone, provide up to one minute of care, then make the call yourself and return to provide care for the child. With the child positioned on a firm, flat surface, open the airway. Place one hand on the forehead and place the fingers of the other hand just under the chin. Tilt the head back and lift up on the chin. In an unresponsive child, the airway can be blocked because the tongue has relaxed and has dropped back to block the throat. Opening the airway may be all that is needed to help the victim to breathe. Next. Check to see if the child is breathing. Place your ear next to the child's mouth and look at the child's chest. Look for the chest to rise and fall. Listen and feel for signs of normal breathing for up to 10 seconds. If breathing is absent, provide rescue breath. With the airway open, pinch the nose, take a breath, and seal your lips around the child's mouth. Give two slow breaths. Each breath should last one to one and a half seconds and make the child's chest rise. Once your breaths go in, check for signs of circulation, such as normal breathing, coughing, or movement for up to 10 seconds. If there are no signs of circulation, provide chest compression. Place the heel of one hand on the lower half of the sternum, but away from the lower tip of the sternum. With your arms straight and shoulder directly over your hand, depress the chest one to one and a half inches, and then allow the chest to return to its normal position. Give five compressions at a rate of about 100 compressions per minute. One, two, three, four, five. After five chest compressions, give one slow rescue breath. One, two, three, four, five. Repeat the cycles of CPR, giving five chest compressions and one rescue breath for one minute, or about 20 total cycles. Recheck the child for signs of circulation. If there are still no signs of circulation, continue CPR. If the child is not breathing, but has other signs of circulation, provide only rescue breaths, giving one breath every three seconds.
Infants are those less than one year of age. The steps for rescue breathing and CPR for infants are very similar to those used on a child. A few modifications are needed to account for the smaller size of an infant. When you approach a motionless infant, attempt to find out whether the infant is responsive. If the infant is unresponsive and a bystander is available, have him call 911 and place the infant on a firm, flat surface. Tilt the head back and lift the chin to open the airway. Do not tilt the head back too far because this can close the infant's airway. Check to see if the infant is breathing for up to 10 seconds. If breathing is absent, provide rescue breaths. With the airway open, cover the infant's mouth and nose with your mouth and give two slow breaths. Each breath should last one to one and a half seconds and make the infant's chest rise. Once your breaths go in, check for signs of circulation for up to 10 seconds. If there are no signs of circulation, provide chest compressions. To perform chest compressions, imagine a line between the nipples and place your middle and ring fingers one finger width below this imaginary line. With your fingers straight, depress the chest one half to one inch and then allow the chest to return to its normal position. Give five compressions at a rate of at least 100 compressions per minute. After five chest compressions, give one slow rescue breath. Repeat cycles of CPR, giving five chest compressions and one rescue breath for about one minute. Recheck the infant for signs of circulation. If no signs of circulation are present and no one has phoned for help, call 911, then continue CPR.